high above us, some 800 kilometers above our heads, satellites are looking down at our Earth, collecting information, information about the land, the oceans, ice, and the atmosphere. Why is this important? It's because we need to understand how the Earth works and to know more about how it's changing. These could be short-term changes like a shift in the weather or long-term changes affecting our climate. When it comes to monitoring these, the great advantage of a satellite is that it can cover the entire planet and do this again and again on a regular basis. Satellites can collect visual information. They can also collect information that will be hidden to the naked eye. ESA is at the forefront of satellite Earth observation. For example, our Earth Explorer satellites are finding the answers to urgent scientific questions. Questions about the cryosphere, that's the Earth's ice and frozen ground. About gravity. About moisture in the soil. The salinity of our oceans. And about the Earth's magnetic field. ESA's Sentinel satellites support the Copernicus program. Copernicus will help us see the impact of changes in the ozone layer and changes in sea level. Over 30 satellites will provide up-to-date information to help governments respond quickly to disasters and emergencies, to plan our cities, to monitor water demand, to check air quality, Copernicus will help us see the impact of changes in the ozone layer and changes in sea level. ESA also develops meteorological satellites for weather and climate studies, together with the European Organization for the Exploitation of Meteorological Satellites, or UMEDSAT. All this information gathered by our Earth-observing satellites is hugely valuable in advancing science and technology, supporting European industry, and fostering international collaboration. Caring for our planet and for the people who live on it, that's at the core of ESA's Earth Observation Program. And the cost? To run the whole of ESA for a year costs less than the price of one cinema ticket for every European.